Hello, I'm Trent Noasad with Case IH. Today we want to walk you through the Precision Farming Setup tab and the importance of making accurate precision farming measurements and setups for the 5 Series air cart. From our run screen, if we select our main menu bar and then come over to our wrench bar, which indicates our setup tab, now we can select Precision Farming Setup. The first thing that pops up is our offsets. When we are using advanced features such as sectional control and mapping and prescription mapping, we want to make sure that the numbers that we enter into these offsets are as accurately as possible. So we'll need to measure them. The first number that we need to enter is the GPS to hitch location. The second number is from hitch to ground engagement point of our seeding or fertilizer application tool. The third setting that can be added is offset. If the tractor and the GPS receiver is not in line with the implement. This is rarely the case when using an air seeder in this application. The other tab that's important is the tank tab. From this tab, it allows us to select and indicate which product or what class of product is going into each tank. This will make setting up the work condition easier in the display. We'll leave that as seated. The last thing we can set in the ECU is product latency. The first one is product delay. This is what I term as internal product delay. It is basically the time it takes for this selected product that we have, in this case tank one, to go from when the meter starts turning till where it exits into the ground. And it is that physical time measured in seconds. This is a very important thing to measure to get right for latencies when setting sectional control. The other options that we have in here are the ability to select added seconds to fine tune section on and off timer. I will just indicate a time in here. Now that we've set that up in the ISO interface, we are able, and we're using a Pro 1200 display here today, to come over to the implement tab in the Pro 1200 display or the AFS Pro 1200 display. And we can see that our measurements from the air cart have transferred over into the display. It is very important that you always in input latencies and measurements into the display, those that the display asks for, before adding any in to this section of the AFS Pro 1200. 